Hi, um, welcome to Mission Artists Virtual Open Studios. My name is Kathy Page. I'm an artist here in San Francisco and I uh, would like to welcome you to my studio too. It's a pleasure to have you here. Um, I've been uh, working in my studio all year. Uh, the pandemic has uh, uh, allowed me to have plenty of time to work um, and I've discovered a lot of things in the last year. Uh, I've done a lot of walking around the city and made a lot of discoveries uh, and some of it has inspired my work. Uh, one of those discoveries is right behind me. This is a large piece that I call uh, Sidewalk Galaxy. It's a tracing actually of a major paint splatter that I found on a sidewalk out in the Sunset District. And uh, I was uh, reminded of one of my favorite artists, Ingrid Colome, who does a lot of work tracing um, sidewalk, cracks in the sidewalk, uh, tire tracks, graffiti, and other things out in the world. And I thought, well, I'm going to give that a try. So I went out to uh, with my tracing paper and uh, my mask and my seat cushion and uh, over the course of a week traced this uh, splatter. Uh, it was a, a, a kind of dirty yellow. I'm sure somebody, my guess is that somebody threw the tag end of a can of paint out of a moving car onto the sidewalk. But anyway, I brought it, brought my tracing home and uh, transferred it onto vellum. Uh, it's um, first with ink and then uh, I added color because by then I started seeing this thing as sort of a a galaxy. It had taken on a life of its own and uh, uh, um, I was just completely absorbed in it. And so I gave it, I gave it some color. Now I'm, I'm showing this to you not because I'm offering it in Open Studios because it was the base for some work that I am offering. I have uh, created uh, three series of monotype prints uh, based on a very small section of Sidewalk Galaxy and I want to show those to you. So if you'll bear with me, I'm going to bring this a little closer. First, if you look really closely at Sidewalk Galaxy, you can see how abstract it becomes when you get up close and it's just endless variations on the dots and squiggles and lines. So what I did was to take about a three inch by four inch section and if you can see there, I blew it up. I blew it up to uh, as, as large as I could and gridded it off uh, into 25 units and I used those as the basis for these trace monotypes. And here they are. This is, these are the first five from each of the three series. The top is the series one, which is the original trace. And then the second row are the reverse uh, trace monotypes. I, I ran those through the, uh, the press. And then the third uh, series uh, were the ghost prints that I did from those. And uh, after I, after they were dry, I drew over them uh, the same um, pattern for each one. So it's really just multiple patterns of the same one. I love the way they're so different from each other. And also each one is to me like a small, tiny piece of a much greater whole. Uh, so, uh, so there's actually 75 of these all together. Now let me just move over here to show you the second large series that I did this year. It's very different. These are, well, I call them collages. I call them relief collages. And it's really, they're uh, works of paper which uh, are mounted on a wood panel. And what they are, are the, uh, they're an interpretation of the topographic area where several major wildfires in California started in this past year. Uh, I researched where the, uh, the exact location as precisely as I could, and then I tracked down the 
topographic map, the USGS topographic map for that place, and used torn strips of paper. You can see them, I think. Uh, and tried to replicate the elevations and the contours of the the land where each of these started. Um, this one's the Valley Fire. Uh, this may be the Camp Fire. Uh, the Atlas Fire. In any case, there are eight of them so far. I'm still working on these. Uh, and then I, after I adhered the paper, I dribbled uh, ink on them, tr trying to get a, a make it look as though the paper had been sc scorched. So this is an ongoing series. I, I, as I mentioned, I've done eight so far, and I'm um, currently researching s some additional ones from 2020. The last series that I am including, if I'm not making you nauseous here, is uh, a series down here that I'm calling Orkney Runes. And this was the last um, work that I was able to do before the shutdown. Uh, and these are, again, monotypes that um, incorporate runic images. I'd gone to, sh to the Orkney Islands in 2019 and encountered these incredible inscriptions in some of the archaeology that I saw. And so that's what that's all about. Um, so I'm going to park this again and just say that um, I could talk about this at great, at great length, but I won't. Uh, I want to invite you to a live uh, um, Q&A that I'm going to have on uh, Sat the Saturday of May 8th, and if you go to the, the uh, Open Studios website, you'll get the Zoom link for it, and you can ask me as many questions as you want. In the meantime, welcome again, and hope to see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>